वेलकम ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड टुडे विल सी द प्रॉब्लम्स द टॉपिक्स विच हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट क्लास दैट इज स्ट्रीम फंक्शन एंड वेलोसिटी पोटेंशियल फंक्शन ओके द बेस्ड ऑन दैट कंसेप्ट विल सी द प्रॉब्लम्स ओके विच आर आस्क इन द एग्जाम दैट प्रॉब्लम्स विल टेक इन द टूडेज क्लास बिफोर दैट आई रिक्वे वन मोर uh the uh, my uh, the humble request uh, i am making to you guys please subscribe my channel and also uh, like the videos and if you uh, if it goes to viral then our channel will grow right and please so please don't forget to subscribe and like the channel so, okay guys thank you the the this is what the and uh, i need to tell you okay now we will come to the topic okay the first question in problem with the stream function in a 2d flow right Uh, is given by this is what the stream function psi that is x square minus y square okay see the stream function psi is in terms of x square minus y square right and the magnitude of the velocity at point 1 and 1 is you have to find out the velocity at point 1 and 1 is how you will find out this see the given is that the psi is equal to x square minus y square right this is what the given now see the stream function see here uh, how you will find out find out this do you have any idea of this see uh, uh, the chi right the velocity is the given okay uh, so let me see the stream function in 2d flow is given by chi right uh, that is chi is x square minus y square the magnitude of the velocity at point 1 and 1 c uh, uh, the very simple right see the chi how will depend chi that is u is equal to right this is a stream function means it is a minus d chi by uh, d of v right and the u is the v how we have defined the v just a minute we have defined the v right that is minus do chi by it is not minus it is a plus right do chi by do uh, v that is here it is uh, here it is a, it is y here and it is x here okay so you have to put these values that is what the stream function is given us that is minus d by dy chi is x square Minus y square. <coughs> okay, you have to make the differentiation of this. Then how much you will get? See, uh, the in with respect to the x will be zero. The y term will get it is a uh, uh, plus two y, right? Minus minus becomes plus two y. Two y I will get the u velocity component of the u velocity and the v component of the v velocity I will get. That is d by dx, right? The psi is given. That is x square minus y square. okay here i will get the 2x means see the u component of the velocity that is a 2y right and v is 2x so i will get i will put the value at that point okay the point is given that is x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 i have to put right means i will get the u is equal to 2 units and v is equal to again it's 2 units if i put x here so the resulting velocity if i calculate right which is square root of u square plus P square means it's a uh, two square plus two square, right? Uh, how much is two square plus two square means it's four eight, right? Eight means four into two, right? Means I will take two common. The answer will be two root two. This is what the velocity for this, right? Clear? Okay. The next, let me delete this. It is not required at all. Okay. Now the second question is. Uh, a velocity field is given as okay. This is the where x, y, z are in meters and v is velocity is in meter per second. Determine if it represents an incompressible flow. The flow is irrotational and the flow is steady, right? Here, see what you have to do here. Uh, <coughs> First, for incompressible flow, how you will check that whether the flow is compre incompressible or not? I have to take the del, right? del dot v right this if i take this del dot v then uh, my flow is 
equal to zero means the flow is incompressible right del dot v right the flow is incompressible and this is what the continuity equation right so uh, what the continuity equation that is uh, du by dx plus dv by dy plus dw by dz equal to zero from this what i will get that is see the u differentiation right what the here this is my u term right and this is w term okay this quantity is zero okay this u i'll put this in this equation then what i'll get i'll get six six x y right and the w term here i'll get that is minus z again that is a six x y right so this is means this is the flow is yes the flow is incompressible flow right from this i can conclude the flow is incompressible see whether the flow is uh, incompressible or not for that you have to use this equation this is right this is what the continuity equation we have to use in order to check the flow is right this is what the continuity equation the flow is rotational or irrotational now the next thing what you have to do uh, the flow is irrotational okay that thing you have to check how you will check that whether the flow is irrotational that is a del you have to check you have to take that is half right into v okay see how you will do that that is i j k right and here d by dx d by dy d by dz d by dz let me write it correctly okay this is this one is true sentence and the second one is for irrotational mm, i will take it in the next slide the del cross v right uh, equal to zero or rather we can take half right means this equal to i j k d by dx d by dy and d by dz right okay and the value of this x is the three x square y right three x square y zero and it is minus six x y z right x y z okay if i <laughs> multiply then the cross term okay let me see what will get see uh, determine this equal to zero now i equal to i in bracket that is the d d of minus six x y z right divided by this y dy minus this term which is zero right so similarly for the j you have to take minus j this multiply by this that is a do minus 6 x y z divided by dx minus this term okay that is do 3 x square y divided by d uh, dz right and the other term which is k right the k is 0 right this is see the k this is a 0 and minus 3 x square y do divided by dx okay once you uh, you have to equate it to the zero and please uh, check the answer whether it is coming zero or not okay if it is coming zero right then uh, your flow is said to be irrotational flow okay and if it is not coming to zero then it is irrotational okay you please check that Okay, you check this. If you check this, then you will answer the flow is uh, uh, flow is rotational because it is not coming to zero, right? And this is oh, this is correct. Which have followed and the flow is see the last the flow is steady or unsteady. See, is there any uh, t term that is a time term coming in this velocity field? No. So the flow is steady. If the velocity is not coming, the flow is steady, right? Means here one, two, and correct, and two is uh, wrong, right? Okay. Now we'll move on to the next question. The streamlines, path lines, <laughs> streamlines, path lines, and streak lines are identical for. Okay. <laughs> In which case these are all lines? Okay, this is for steady flow, right? Steady flow. In steady flow case, the all streamlines, path lines, and streak lines are identical. This we have already seen. Okay, now let me delete this. Yes. Now in a flow field, the streamlines and equipotential lines right in a, they are orthogonal to each other right they are orthogonal ortho 
orthogonal to each other means 90 degree perpendicular right <coughs> now the next i will hide this yes see for a liquid element in a 2d flow field xy if the it will undergoes right just a minute equipotential line right see the one one point is very very important okay let me uh, here let me highlight that uh, this is art the streamlines and equipotential lines these are orthogonal but except only one point we just that one except point of stagnation okay where the velocity is zero except at point of stagnation stagnation okay this should you have to keep remember i think i have explained this thing or not i don't know okay okay now for the fluid element right for the fluid element in two di two dimension flow field xy it will be undergo translation rotation see, for liquid for fluid element in a 2d flow field xy if it will undergo right means it goes translation always right translation it can perform okay the translation rotation also it can go translation plus rotation also a translation plus deformation right translation it undergo translation plus deformation also and it can deformation translation only and deformation only it can perform right deformation deformation only okay this all this will undergo all these three categories right and this is why we already we have seen right see the how the question asked in the examination like this now let me go to the next question this is over right this is also now the sixth question the continued equation in the form of uh, always represents i think something is missing okay uh, represents uh, flow regards uh, see the continued equation in the form of always represents an incompressible flow regardless of the flow is whether steady or unsteady yes this this is correct right the continued equation form always represents an incompressible okay del dot v you can write here right this del dot v always represent the incompressible flow regardless whether the flow is steady or yes this is what the true sentence right okay now now the next question see now the velocity field right the velocity component the velocity component in the x y directions let me correct this this should be equal to zero okay then then and only the flow will be incompressible okay this is then it will be true now see the uh, continued equation in the form of it is not this equation the the velocity component components in the xy directions are given by like this right the u and of is the velocity components the value of lambda you have to find right this type of problem we have already solved in the previous classes right so see here the fluid is given that is the incompressible fluid is given right incompressible fluid is that is what the continued equation comes from here that is du by dx plus dv by dy whether it is equal to zero or not that thing we have to check here right I equate it to zero and according to this you have to find out the value of the lambda okay if you put in this then the value of the lambda you will get three okay this is what the answer okay now we'll move on to the next question uh, let's see uh, the the 2d flow with velocity right this is an i i think this is in a j direction is okay the velocity is given this is what my u component of the velocity and this is v component of the velocity we have to check whether the flow is compressible and rot irrotational compressible and rotational compressible and irrotational incompressible and not irrotational like this here we have to check see here the given is that is the u component let me put the solution that is u is there x plus 2y plus 2 right and here v is equal to what the v is 
a 4 minus y right 4 minus y that is v now from the what the continuity equation that is the du by dx right plus dv by dy is equal to 0 uh, if I do this see here if I done the integration then here comes 1 and here comes minus 1 means uh, it is 1 minus 1 equal to 0 means it is it implies that 0 equal to 0 that is flow is incompressible 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 right and the second whether uh, it is rotational or in rotational for that what you have to do see for the rotationality or not rotation, let me do it in the next slide I have to check this omega xy right omega xy that is half dou by dou x minus dou by dou y right this is this thing I have to check if it get goes equal to 0 right then the flow will be uh, uh, see let me in, in put this that is half what the v is 4 minus y that is dou 4 minus y that is x right and d by dy the u is x plus 2y plus 2 x plus 2y plus 2 see here I will get the 1 right 1 uh, 1 uh, that is here see the here this term goes to 0 right here the two these terms are goes to 0 the difference of this term that is minus 2 right means see from this what I will get I will get 2 2 will get cancelled I will get minus 1 which is omega is not equal to 0 right means the flow is rotational rotational from this we can conclude that flow is flow this 2d flow is 2d flow is uh, incompressible incompressible and rotational right okay now we'll move on to the next question see the next question in front of you uh, uh, velocity field is represented by the veloc uh, velocity is represented by the see a fluid a fluid flow is represented a fluid flow is represented by the velocity field right where a is constant the equation of the streamline passing through point 1 and 2 you have to find the equation of the streamline right how you will do this uh, see here <coughs> the equation of the streamline you know, that is dx by u is equal to dy by v right from here uh, what the u is that is from here we will get that is the dx by this is what the u right that is ax ax is equal to dy by ay right what I will do I will integrate this I will take the a which is a will get cancelled here right means the final I will get that dx by x equal to dy by y right if I integrate this then I will get that is ln x equal to ln y plus c see how I will calculate this c the value of the c ok here the x I will put 1 and the y I will put 2 what I will get let me see the value of uh, this uh, c see if ln 1 is 0 right the 2 ln 2 is ln 2 plus c means c equal to ln minus ln 2 minus ln 2 okay my then my equation will be this ln x plus ln y right is uh, not ln y it is not plus right here equal to ln pi minus ln of this 2 you understood the ln ln will get cancelled I will get that is x right mm. Okay, if ln ln will get from all the sides, right? Uh, finally, I will get the equation like mm, here two is right here. Okay, the equation coming that is x minus y right e plus two equal to zero. Correct. Is there any doubt in this? 
if you have, I think it is correct. Okay, this is what the equation I will get. Okay. Okay, now we will see the next question. Okay, which is very interesting question. Let me delete this. Please cross check this. I have a little doubt about this answer. Right, the answer is different which is not matching. Okay, now the tenth <coughs> problem. For a fluid flow through a divergent pipe of length L, the pipe is like this divergent. Okay, see this is what the divergent pipe and the length of this pipe is uh, let me write the length is that is L length okay and having inlet this is the inlet and this is outlet of radii this radii if this is what the center then this is R1 and this is R2 okay respectively and constant rate of Q the Q is constant given Q is constant means the discharge at inlet 1 and inlet 2 this is a constant value right constant rate of Q <coughs> dot and assume the velocity to be axial and uniform at any cross section the acceleration at the exit see at this time at this exit this is what the exit right and exit we have to find out the acceleration this is the inlet and this is outlet okay we have to find out the acceleration at this place how we will find out the acceleration for this see first what you have to do right as this is a divergent right we have to take one element from this okay because uh, uh, this at a distance x I will take one element dx here okay this is what the element under construction now see here this is the radius r1 and this is r2 right uh, what I will do <coughs> Uh, see if I take a dotted from this this is what I will get the R1 right this is R1 and if I take this height as h right this this height I will take at a distance x is h so here this is R uh, h minus R1 right this distance from here to here h minus R1 you understood this See this is what how the strength of material we are in the strength of material okay while calculating the strain in the axial direction the same thing the same mathematical expression we are performing right okay see what we will get from this you see from the R2 if I make see from the similar triangle right this triangle is similar here I can make R2 minus R1 right this is R2 minus R1 this distance R2 minus R1 right this is R2 and R1 here okay <coughs> see this is uh, this is not r2 this this value is r2 minus r1 and this length i am taking that is l equal to this what is this this is what the if i take this height yeah, I'll, what i'll do i'll this is what r1 i'll take this height as h okay i'll delete this uh, this side height i will take up to here okay this height i will take h h by x okay this equation from the geometry of this uh, nozzle I will get right so from this what I calculate the value of the h right this height is I can calculate in terms of x that is r2 minus r1 divided by l into x right okay that means the radius rx what I will get at the rx radius I will get r1 plus h what is the R1? R1 plus H is R2 minus R1 divided by L into X. This is what the radius says Rx. Okay, once I got this, then the next thing is, what you have to do? <coughs> See, you know, the acceleration, right? The acceleration is, is in the direction that is Ux dou u by, uh, dou u by dou x, right? This is what the in x direction acceleration this is a convective term uh, this is a convective term of the acceleration only right it's not a uh, the steady term right okay from this what i can write Let's see the u i can write the q that is discharge that is ax into ux right from this ux i can write ux is equal to q upon pi rx square right so i will write this that is q divided by pi rx square 
into do u x here i have to again differentiate this right in place of u x i will write that is a q divided by pi r x square right divided by do x now the next thing what you have to do see the q is constant so i have to take the q outside means from this i will get uh, the actually that is a q <coughs> q divided by pi right the rx the value of the rx just now you have find out what i will do i will put this value this is x right here this x this rx r2 with this constant i will k I put it, it as a k i will take it as a k for simple reason. later i will put this value k into x bracket square right uh, into do by do by do x q upon pi right rx is r1 plus k x bracket square okay and if i done the integral that is q upon pi r1 plus k x square i think i all need one more slide here okay i will do i will take this slide off yes right and i will make a copy of this yes okay see uh, kx bracket square right plus do by do x this q uh, i have to differentiate this in this step only no need to go on the more than this step right the q see the differentiation of q the q will come outside that is q square here right into see if i take this up then i will get the minus 2 r1 plus r2 right uh, see minus let me correct this here k uh, 2 minus 2 k okay uh, see i have to take this terms upward then divide by minus 2k divided by l right uh, l r1 plus uh, k right k x cube right this i will get if i further simplify this just meter somebody is in the door See what I will get if I further simplify that then I will get the A that is acceleration is equal to Q square divided by pi square R1 plus R2 minus R1 the K term I am putting here divided by L into L right see act X is equal to now I am putting the X value is putting I am here X is going into L into minus 2 times r k is r2 minus r1 right divided by this l r1 plus r2 minus r1 right divided by l into l and square this so the final expression i'll get that is a is equal to twice times q square r1 minus r2 right divided by pi square l r2 raised to 5 this is what the expression i will get finally you understood this if i am correct please cross check also okay this is a little bit uh, uh, mathematical part is more in this case so please cross check with you okay i think it is correct but even though you you need to cross check it once again right okay this is what the answer of the acceleration at the exit now we'll move on to the next question uh, what is the next okay see the velocity the velocity component in x and x the velocity components in the x and y directions of the 2d potential flow are u and v respectively then du by dou y dou x is equal to now you have to give the answer for me okay i have taught you many things right the velocity component the velocity component in x and y direction of the 2d potential flow are u and v respectively right see then dou y dou x is equal to right 
see what the velocity components in external the potential if the flow is potential then we are taken that right uh, uh, do u by do x is c do u by do x will be let me write down how we so so you, the u we have taken for the velocity that is minus do u by do a and do share do phi by do x right do phi by do x and for v rather i will make it like this uh, the velocity come okay the potential flow u and v all right uh, see now what i have to do here see here mm, uh, velocity component in x y direction of 2d potential for u and v means c yeah, see, I have to check the continuity equation that is the du by dx, right, plus dou v by dou y is equal to 0, right. Means here from this, what we will get? dou u by dx, dou x is equal to minus dv by dy, right. This is what we get, okay. Means the value of this dou v by dou x is dy by minus dy by dv by dy, okay. You understood? Very simple one. Okay, now the next question. Uh, first, I will delete this. Yes, in a <coughs> in a two-dimensional flow field with velocity. This is not a velocity. This is a velocity. Uh, u and v along x and y direction respectively. The convective acceleration along x direction is given by. See the convective acceleration along x direction given by that is u du by dx. Right. If the flow is Unst right mm. in extraction the another term is that is v dv uh, du by dx okay if the flow is steady then the last term will be zero this is what the convective acceleration right they are they this is the main they have mentioned it's not total acceleration it's only con convective acceleration they were asked for. right so this is what the answer for this question now we'll move on to the next question mm, let me delete this This is also slide not required. Okay. Now see the potential a two D two dimensional field has velocity along x and y directions given by right. This is what the u and this is v, right? It is not y, it is v. Okay, the velocity in y directions that is v. Okay. Uh, respectively, where t is the time, the equation of the streamline. You have to find out the equation of the streamline. You know equation of the streamline that is dx by u, right? Uh, uh, plus is equal to d y by v. This is what the my our equation of streamline. Okay, you have to put this value of u here. That is d x by u is x square t right, and it equal to uh, d y. Where is the d y? d y by v is minus two x y t. See the, the this is this both term will get cancelled. The t as this t constant means the flow is steady. Right, as these are getting uh, cancelled out here from this, if I integrate this, the remaining term, so what the remaining is that is dx by x square is equal to dy by minus 2xy. Okay, from this, the xx also get cancelled. Okay, so I have to just integration of this dx by dx is equal to dy by minus 2y. I have to integrate this and we have to find out the equation for this. Okay, can you do this? Very simple, this. Uh, I, I will do that in the uh, this is okay this is also 13 question okay okay just meet I will add one more slide here okay yes right so the integration of this hot comes right the dx by that is the ln x is equal to half minus half right see it is a minus half here which is taken constant outside that is the ln y plus c okay then then further you further you simplify this that is the ln x plus half ln y is equal to uh, ln uh, c right 
From this, what I can write? See, the half will go at the top. That is x y raised to by right equal to c. This equation I will get. From this, I can write x square y is equal to c. Right? This is what. <coughs> Sorry, this is what the equation of the streamline. Clear? Okay. Now we we'll move on to the. This is I think this is the last question we will take. Okay. See the following problems you will get the concept more and more clear. Where I am explaining the concept, you will not that much that you will get the physical feel of that concepts, right? And if you d if you didn't get the physical feel of any concepts, uh, what uh, you will not uh, you will not keep remember that topic for long time. Okay. Once you get a physical feel of that, then forever the topic will be remains in your mind. Okay. Yes. If this thing is happening. Then this is what the equation, right? Like this, how see the phenomena which are occurring? Just that phenomena we are studying and it expressing in the mathematical expressions. Okay, in all this mechanical engineering, um, uh, engineering, this thing is we are doing, right? The phenomena which are occurring in the nature or by creating by the human beings, right? That that is we are expressing in terms of the mathematical expression and trying to understand it how it occurring. that thing we are doing in this mechanical engineering course okay uh, now this is last question in a steady flow through nozzle the flow velocity is given by v is equal to u not right this is a constant plus 1 plus 3x right where x is the distance along the nozzle from its inlet and l is the length see similar i think this like this question we have solved previously right this is what the inlet of the nozzle and this is the outlet of the nozzle okay and this is a center line right uh, here the x at this point x is equal to 0 right and this distance is l okay here x is equal to l means the length of this nozzle is l now the given is that the v is equal to u not 1 plus 3x by 2 right this is what the given what is the time required for the fluid particle see the fluid particle at the time required for the fluid particle suppose the fluid particle here from here to at the exit okay travel from inlet to exit plane the nozzle is how much time that is the dt we have to calculate for the fluid particle right uh, <coughs> see how we will perform this is what the equation we have given i will add one more slide if it required okay later i cannot add it properly right okay see uh, the given is that v is equal to u not 1 plus 3x by l right this is what the given if see what the v is v is that is the dx by dt right and the u not 1 plus 3x divided by l okay uh, right the later i will take this x term that is dx by i have to integrate this right Now the u not i will take it downward right 1 plus 3x by l okay is equal to this uh, dt right if i integrate this from 0 to t then i will get the time from exit from uh, from the time that is 0 to l right okay uh, uh, once you integrate then then you will get see the what the integration of this this t equal to okay the integration of this that is 1 upon u not which is constant i have to take outside the ln of this right the ln of 1 plus 3x divided by l into the differentiation of this term right what you will get uh, uh not into it's a divided by right you have to take the differentiation of this term which is with along with this x so divided by this is 3 by l right okay the next the next the time taken will be t is equal to 1 upon u not ln right 1 plus 3x divided by l into l by 3 right here if x is equal to l they have asked right so the time required that is 1 upon u not ln 1 plus 3x in place of x i will put l right l into l by 3 this l l will get cancelled right the 3 3 will and uh, 3 3 will not get cancelled don't do that type of mistake right so the time required is equal to uh, this l i will take this l in this side right uh, l by 3 u not right and this ln 3 plus 1 that is 4 this is what the time required to travel the fluid particle through the nozzle from inlet to outlet right having distance l okay if you put the value of distance l 
then you will get uh, this answer and this velocity is constant which is u naught okay guys then i think with this we will stop for the today's class okay uh, many questions i tried to solve you given you and uh, what we will do in the next upcoming class okay we will see the next part of this uh, fluid mechanics course but right now we will stop for this okay and before <coughs> closing the class uh, one humble request to you guys please don't um, uh, forget to like share and comment okay please like the video share with your friends and subscribe my channel okay guys thanks bye